So today we're going to be taking a look at this clip from Dr. Phil about this 14 year old kid who has completely lost his mind. I mean, this kid's playing video games for 17 hours a day, and believe it or not, he's broken his mom's nose multiple times when she's told him to stop playing video games. I mean, this entire situation here is ridiculous. So for some backstory here before you guys see the clip, like I said, this kid plays Xbox 17 hours a day, which is really just mind boggling on its own. Now also, this kid refuses to go to school, like I said, he's broken his mother's nose, and basically this kid won't do anything besides play video games on the couch. I'm not even kidding. My 14 year old son Nico is absolutely addicted to his video games. Let me get the streak of 6 9 let me get the streak, no! He'll be on this device for 17 hours a day sometimes. I try to get Nico off video games, tell him that he's limited, he can only have 5 hours a day, and his answer is, oh, no, that's not gonna happen. And it's a fight. I asked you hours ago to clean up that mess. What's Leave going me on? Get the out now! Nico is the most spoiled child. Nico! Get out! Stop it! Get out! Get off. Right the f now! Now, just from that clip alone, for me, it looks like this entire issue here is the parenting. They said they've tried to limit his video game use, saying he can only play five hours a day, and he just says no. And that just stands. I guess the I guess the 14-year-old kid has the final verdict here. I mean, could they not just easily ground the kid or turn off the Wi-Fi or unplug the Xbox, something along those lines? I feel like there's some really simple solutions here. I mean, could you imagine letting your 14-year-old kid walk all over you. You're literally the parent. You can control his entire life. Nico can get so angry. He will destroy everything in the house, anything in his path, anything that Nico can get his hands on will get destroyed. What is my computer? He gets what he wants by bullying us and terrorizing this house. He'll pull his hair. Stop it, Nico. He'll start screaming if he's not on his devices. Nico, your mouth! <laughs> I take him off the internet and he immediately starts throwing things and breaking things. I think Nico takes advantage of me more now because he knows that I'm disabled, I'm in a wheelchair and there's not much I can do. He'll strike out and he'll hit me. Physically, I'm no match for him. He's a big kid and I have one leg. There's not much I can do. Now the next part of the clip we're going to be looking at here features the father. And I just want to say here, why is the father not stepping in? This kid is like cursing out his mom, breaking her laptop. As you'll see in a minute, he's broken her nose before. Like I don't get how you're going to let a 14 year old kid break your wife's nose and her electronics. Like at some point you kind of have to step in there and like take everything away from this kid and ground him, right? Send this kid to the ranch or something. I feel our family is falling apart. We desperately need help to get everything back on track. It's absolutely out of control and I see it only getting worse. I am about to break your nose like I did. How did it get this way where we have a child running the house? He starts getting into a rage and getting violent. I go upstairs in my, my studio, my music room to avoid it because he winds up getting physical with me. What am I hearing out of this dude right now? Whenever there's a conflict and his kid starts getting violent and vulgar, this dude just runs upstairs to his music room and starts blasting some lucid dreams? Did I hear that right? So you're telling me whenever this dude's kid starts freaking out and smashing his mom's laptop, cussing her out, and punching her in the nose, this dude just runs upstairs to his music room and starts blasting eternal a take. I really don't understand how there are people this bad at parenting. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at SubToRelex. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.